Hello, this is Patrick, and welcome to more Tesla news. It's been about two weeks since my last video, and some big updates. One thing, to Tesla family. My wife's got a performance model uh, three now, and it's fast. It's really fast. Like, I was super surprised at the difference between the long range Model 3 with rear wheel, wheel drive and this performance, and even between the dual motor 90D that I have in this performance. I, I've driven a, a Model S Insane before, and I've been in uh, ludicrous Model S's, and it's definitely a different feel on this. It's, it's, it, I guess because it's lighter and smaller and closer to the ground, it, it feels scary fast, even though there isn't like a ludicrous. Um, can't wait to try out track mode at motocross. Could be a lot of fun. Anyways, the big news is that uh, Enhanced Summon is coming out this week for the United States. So this is where you can, from 150 feet away, have your car pull out of a parking lot and come towards you and basically pick you up while avoiding obstacles along the way. So this is for anybody with the Enhanced Autopilot or the full self-driving option. This is not for the current autopilot that's only $2,000. This is for the enhanced um, autopilot that they used to sell or now if you have the full self-driving. So this is any uh, car that has autopilot 2.0 hardware or newer. And I can't wait to try it out. I think it's gonna be really cool. And something that's being pushed out right now as we speak is the new more seamless navigation on autopilot feature. This is the no confirmation autopilot that's out right now. So this, this is where you're, you're, you're navigate on autopilot where it's going on freeways from one freeway to another freeway where it'll, it'll go around slow cars and you can pick Mad Max mode or on the level of aggression that you want. And it doesn't uh, ask you if you want to switch lanes, it just does it. Now, uh, there's a little caveat to that and that's that you have to make sure you have your hands on the wheel so before it changes lanes, it makes sure you have a little bit of pressure on the steering wheel. Either it doesn't matter which direction, left or right or whatever, but yeah. So Elon said that the car looks for slight turning force on the wheel, the direction is irrelevant, to confirm that the driver's hands are on the steering wheel before initiating a lane change. Just as a precautionary measure until we have a few billion miles of real world lane changes with reliability greater than a human. They're leaving this on just, just as an extra security measure in order to make sure people are paying attention before the car starts switching lanes all by itself. And the reviews are good. They're saying that the new neural net in this version of the firmware update that just got pushed fleet wide over the weekend is significantly better than the previous builds. And it's not perfect. In fact, it doesn't avoid potholes, which Elon confirmed they are gonna be building into autopilot. That's one of the things I've always wondered about, like, that's the main thing you gotta take over for right now on highways and freeways. Autopilot works great, but it, it can't account for things like potholes or things in the road. So it, it'll be really good if they can get that working well on the Teslas. Lots of updates are coming out and it's kind of weird. They're different in different parts of the world. Like people in Europe are getting an update right now that has the new Chromium browser. So this is a, a little bit snappier more up-to-date web browser that's built into the Model 3s, at the very least, and some other vehicles, as well as new Tesla Tari games. A new page for software update on the UMC, and that gives you some more details with the release notes and if it's downloading. It doesn't let you request it to download the latest version, but it just gives you a little bit more details on what's going on with the current update. Also in the latest updates, Model 3 is getting an allowance for higher power output at longer periods and an increased top speed. So now the Performance Model 3 is actually the fastest Tesla right now. This is faster than the Model S's because it has a new top speed of 162 miles per hour. So instead of 155, it's 162. Which brings the big question, when are they updating the Model S and X? Because it's using the older battery technology, so it can't supercharge at the new supercharger V3 speeds. Elon won't say how fast the current battery technology can charge, but uh, everybody thinks it's probably gonna top out at 150 kilowatt range, not the 250. Now, now it looks like it's been reported 
that there's going to be permanent magnet motors coming in new versions of the Model S and X. This is what's used in the Tesla Model 3. And this is a more efficient motor, the permanent magnet motors. They're talking like gaining maybe a dozen or a couple dozen extra miles for the same amount of battery. So now we're talking like 350, and if they upgrade the batteries too, we're maybe talking a 400 mile range Model S, which would be really cool. And this is probably what they're gonna be using in the truck. And you know, like the Tesla semis, uh, they keep saying they're gonna be using more parts from the Model 3 and the newer Teslas. Yeah, the, the, they're gonna be using these permanent magnet DC motors. We'll see what win. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll, Model S and X sales are down a little bit this quarter, but Model 3 sales are just through the roof and they're just blowing away the competition. All our EVs don't even stand a chance. Not even other luxury cars are able to compete with the Model 3 sales. So all, 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 those, all these updates, there's just so many updates coming out, like just in the past two weeks. Uh, it's been reported that the full self-driving hardware is now in current Model S and Xs that are coming off the line. And you can even see it in the parts catalog. And somebody was reporting it's about $1,550 is what they got quoted for the part. That's kind of interesting on the cost of the new full self-driving computer, which Elon is now calling instead of um, Autopilot Hardware 3.0, he's now calling it the full self-driving hardware. So we should be seeing this rolling out on all the new vehicles coming off the line here soon if they aren't already. In fact, the Model 3 that I have probably already has it in there because it was a build date like March 11th. And everybody that bought the full self-driving package uh, with version 2.0 or 2.5 will be getting this version 3 hardware upgrade soon. Uh, Elon said that right now the software is optimized for the version 2 2.5 hardware, the NVIDIA hardware. So there's no real advantage to putting it in until they get it more optimized for the new board and then they'll start retroactively upgrading people when there's a real feature difference. So we're probably looking at like maybe the fall time frame is my guess, but we'll know for sure on the 22nd because Tesla's holding an event um, for investors to show off the new full self-driving capabilities and this new hardware. And they're probably gonna give details on the rollout and they're gonna be live casting this. So it, even if you can't go to the event, which I doubt very many people are gonna get a go, they're gonna show a live webcast. Sounds like Tesla is gonna be the first company to have real uh, fully autonomous vehicles on the road. And Elon confirmed, you know, all the Teslas that have been made for the past couple of years are capable of this. They have all the hardware necessary and that that internal camera in the Model 3 is for the ri Tesla ride sharing program they're gonna do eventually once they get everything legal where uh, the car can drive itself around, pick people up Uber-like. Uber -like. And then that camera can be used to be to monitor the passengers in case they do anything to your vehicle. Thank you guys for watching so much and, and subscribe. Please, please subscribe. We're, we're so close to hitting that 10,000 uh, subscriber fresh threshold. It lets me know that you guys like the videos. Also, please thumbs up, like the videos. Email me. I'm uh, pat.lawson at wildwestev.com. Or you can get me on Twitter. I'm at walkingcrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to hope to be doing some videos on the Performance Model 3 here soon now that the weather is warming up and uh, my, my son's growing up a little bit. I've got a little three-month-old. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys again next time. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, it's Colton. Today we will be filming my reaction to going full speed on a Tesla Performance Model 3. This is my mom's new car and it's actually my first time riding it. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Are your arms locked? Yep. You could hear it. There, <laughs> there was a really loud noise. Not really loud, but it's pretty loud. You could definitely hear it.